Welcome back to Mango Plays Planet Zoo and oh, our Komodos are doing quite well. Um, I have actually let the play let the play game a bit. No, let the game play a bit. Um, and we have now um, got uh, access to the Komodo um, research, which we didn't before because DLC was not loading properly. So we got a first level of research, so let's take a look at it. Um, view a Zoopedia. So, um, they are classified as vulnerable. Apparently, they can reach... So there's somewhere in here about how fast... Yeah. Although they appear slow, the dragons can run up to 12 miles per hour. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's pretty scary. And let's have a look at our research status. So the fun fact for Komodo dragons is they are ambush predators. They lie in wait for prey and go for the throat when they attack. They sound terrifying, but they apparently prefer mealworms to rodents and sprinklers um, as a toy enrichment. Which is a little bit weird that they prefer meal mealworms to rodents because in the Zoopedia they, they like deer. So... I mean, rodents are closer to deer. Um, but looking at this, it looks like I need to get some lights <laughs> about the place. Can we get some lights? Lights. This is all the lights I have. Hmm. Here, have a light. <laughs> oh dear, I need to research stuff, don't I? <laughs> I wanted to put some lights in here, but yeah, they, they're just sort of hanging lamps. I don't know how how good they would be. Um, let's turn it over. Here you go. Wow, that is horrific. Let's remove that. That research is complete. Let's see what we have next. So, uh, this one. Komodo dragons can swallow prey up to the size of a goat or small deer. Oh. Whoa. After a large meal like this, they will slowly digest it and then regurgitate the fur, horns, and bones. And we have a large bowl for them as an enrichment. Ooh. That is a large bowl. There we go. You like that? Yeah? Is it nice? You happy with it? Um, oh, that's a toy enrichment as well. We need to get you a food enrichment. I know. I'm sorry. These are just so beautiful. Oh. So, basically that child there or that child there is edible to a Komodo dragon. A swallowable hole. Doesn't quite doesn't quite look like it's that big. No. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Right, okay, I am going to do a little bit of work here and then um, we're going to also do some hmm we do some exhibits here. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm thinking we might get some exhibits out um, just here to sort of replicate the iguanas that are out and about in the Australian zoo here. Um, and then there is an alligator. And we don't have alligators, but we do have saltwater crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> and I managed to get a pangolin. Um, it was just for sale. I was like, yes, I'll have that. Okay. 210 meters squared. All of it needs to be water. Really? Oh no, you need that in land and then that in water. Okay, how big is this? Hmm. So, sort of that size over here. 
Hmm, okay. We got uh, level three. Ooh, 15 plus uh, increasement to breeding, a tweet enrichment, and a food enrichment. Let's take a look. That's the wrong button. I keep doing that. Okay, no fun fact. But we got a rubbing pad and a frozen blood pumpkin. Oh, right. Um, let's get this frozen blood pumpkin in straight away. And let's see how they react to it. I think they're all right for toy enrichment, so I'm not going to put the rubbing pad in. I can't get over how pretty this game is. You can even like really tell that the glass is cracked. Maybe not after YouTubers decompressed it all and everything, but. Yeah, this looks amazing. Are you gonna eat the puff pumpkin? No. Yeah, they're both at full nourishment. They won't eat for a little bit. Hopefully, I'll catch them in later. I am currently at the moment just mapping out roughly with some barriers um, our next exhibit areas. Um, I'm just sort of throwing stuff down. These are going to be for our tortoises, if and when I get some. And I think I'm going to make them probably significantly smaller. Because if we have a look at the outer bar, for example, and have a look here, yeah, 230 is the land requirement. This habitat. We have 360 in here, so, hmm, okay, this one will be, so this one I could probably split in half, yeah, and that can be one, and that can be two. Ah, we just keep going through that research, and we have a new fun fact, Komodo dragons are cannibalistic. 10% of an adult's diet is juvenile dragons. Oh, no. Ooh, and a water jet. Oh, I am interested in that. Um, here, come to a new frozen pumpkin. Let's, let's delete that and go for a water jet. Let's see what one of these is. Oh. oh, that's so cool. I miss the them eating the frozen pumpkins, though. <gasps> what? What? No. Did they just... They just... They just did? Congratulations! I missed it! I've been paying attention everywhere else. It looks like you've been headbutting the glass thing. Lesser. Offspring due July a year six. Wow, that is really cool. I do. I will say this. The why is this work? Thank you. Um, the time does go really fast. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about that bit. Here we go. Wow. How are you going to get any purchase on it? Uh, the, I think um, there are other animals that eat the uh, frozen pumpkin in a much, I don't know, better way? Is that the right term? But I'm still trying to piddly jinx some carving that gives us some nice lines around our new exhibits, or future exhibits, should I say? She's about to have her offspring. There was a little nursery noise. That was so cute. Hello, I'm not staring at you. Oh, that was that was a that was a 360 Ollie or something. 
We're impressed. Um, life finds a way. <laughs> That's where the life found its way. Whoa, we got two? We got three? That's gotta be it. You're done, right? What did we get? We got we got a male, a female, and another male. Wow. Got a feeling the Komodo dragons are gonna be popular right now. I thought this was a baby. Nope, it was poo. Oh, I'm so excited. I have um, been working on a awesome saltwater crocodile exhibit. Uh, technically, this should be an alligator exhibit, but uh, I guess we could put a gharial in here. Gharial would work. Let's have a look. Hmm. Do I want to spend my first lot of conservation bucks in this way yeah i am going to and get um let's just oh excuse you for putting up your prices <laughs> i'm glad i did that okay uh adopt you and adopt you there we go got a male and a female for our exhibit it's gonna be awesome. Let's um, dunk some terrain and some watering because I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. Yeah, so look, I gave them a little bit of hidey holes under here. It's just, it's a bit different. That's what I was hoping for. Um, okay, okay, late cleaning this 100%. So we've got the underwater sort of a viewing area here, which I think is quite cool. Um, and we've got a little bit of land mass for the gharial. Okay, where am I going to put the doorway in for our veterans and keepers? Hmm. Yeah. We'll just bring one in in case we don't want we don't want a repeat of the komodo incident hello look at you oh caretaker just minding her own not having an issue okay uh terrain is inappropriate let's have a look enough water we've got enough land this is great but it's just there is too much short and not enough rock and sand ah uh, we need a bit of sand in here this this in just have a little bit of sandy beach now we need to just get a little bit of rock in that uh, report is ready for our viewing eh hello how are you doing okay what is so we need plants for this guy <gasps> no Please say you'll let me have these. No! But... Come on! Just... 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 Just, just a little bit. That's all. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'd block your view, guys. But... Covering my ugly terrain mistakes seems more important. Alright, there we go. We've got a load of nature in. Um, it's a little bit of rock work, even. And I really, really um, am impressed with these things. These water stones. Carpet moss. They look gorgeous down here. And I love the way the sound is when you're underwater. It's brilliant. Um, so... That is Argarial sorted. A eh, woo. Excuse me. 
Hello. Walker Knight. Who that? I agree in the player and earn conservation credits. Cool. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> well, anyway, I was going to um, actually put some habitat stuff in for our gharials. There we go. And uh, a frozen pumpkin. Yes. You're going to want one of those. And a prey scented stick. Maybe one of those. that up by the glass there. Water I think we're okay on. Let's um put the blood scent marker over there. Okay, how are we doing now? We are doing fantastic. <laughs> wow, okay, so that is our gharials. Oh they're going for a good old munch. I do need to put a food tray down for these guys. Look at how much smaller the, the lady Garil is. Yeah. She looks like a snack. And they also sound like a lawnmower. <laughs> um, that's quick me. Let's uh, just get a food tray in. Uh, I wonder if I can get away with sort of I wonder if I can get away hiding it in here. Wonder if that work. Um, I have for a swim. I love these lily pants. They're amazing. I am. I am thrilled. I, I really want to find an animal that actually likes them so I can just like cover the water with lily pads. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, so let's have a look at our zoo overall then. We have got level one here, which means better food and an ice pack. So let's have a quick look. Okay, no pack. But they like fish. I need to, I need to create a terrain area for the these new adults. You're gonna be adulthood when? Whenever you're not sure, check the Zoopedia. Um, wow, she can have six? So nine years. Okay, we've got, we've got a fair bit of time before um, I have to panic about um, adults fighting the Komodo dragons. Although it would be good to get the habitat sorted, maybe in the next episode. Um, we got our tortoises planned out, um, at least the areas, and we got our gharials in, which are fantastic. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you're new, leave me a comment down below, let me know um, what planet you... What planet? Wow, what animal you're looking forward to from Planet Zoo. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.